The Atom X4840 was released at a time when AMD wasn't really competitive to the current generation of Intel CPUs, and that's exactly why this comparison makes sense. On paper, these two are kind of similar, apart from the X4840 obviously not being a real quad-core CPU. But specs on paper are one thing, but actual performance can be quite the opposite. So why don't we go to some benchmarks and see actually how these two CPUs perform nowadays. First up we have Cinebench R20, where the Atom beats out the i3 by a small margin in the multi-threaded benchmark. But things take a turn when switching to the single core test, as it was known at the time that AMD had quite terrible single core performance on their CPU, and this is perfectly visible here. But now, let's move on to some gaming benchmarks. In the freshly released Elden Ring, both of the CPUs are really struggling, the Atom quite a bit more than the i3, so although they both produce a sub-30 FPS average, the win is on Intel's side here, as the frame rate was much more stable throughout this custom benchmark. Not many words are needed for AC Valhalla, the i3 just gets a clear win here, with higher averages and a much more stable performance. In The Witcher 3, we can see the Atom producing a more stable experience, with the i3 being utilized at 100% almost all of the time, and although the i3 produced a better average, the Atom was a more pleasant experience overall. In 
in a very CPU intensive title, again both of the CPUs struggled to get close to 30 FPS, but the i3 here delivered 5 frames more on average, with overall the more stable experience, so the Intel chip can be considered as the winner in Total War Troy. Probably the most interesting thing happened in Horizon Zero Dawn, as I was using mediocre system specs, I ran the benchmark at 720p with all the settings turned all the way down, to put most of the stress on the CPUs, and after running the benchmark 5 times on the add-on CPU, it just couldn't load up all the assets in the game, while the Intel chip had no problems with that. This wasn't only happening on the benchmark run, but also in the game, so the i3 can be considered as a definite winner here. Mafia Remake is a very stressful game for any CPU, with these two being no exception to that. Overall, these results can be considered as a draw, since neither of them got really playable results. And in both cases, the framerate was just all over the place.
we are finishing the benchmark with Far Cry New Dawn. And as it was the case with many games so far, the Intel CPU provided around 5 FPS more and takes the win in this game as well. This comparison wasn't meant to show just how bad these CPUs are for modern gaming, that's something most people are aware by now. This was mostly aimed towards proving how bad AMD was just a couple of years ago, and actually were near bankruptcy at that time. Thankfully, a lot of things have changed in the last 5 years. We can enjoy quite some improvements in the CPU market. Let's hope it stays that way for a long time, and we can enjoy the progress leaving behind the times where we actually had only one competitor in the CPU market. This concludes our small experimental comparison for today. I hope you enjoyed it and that I can expect you in my next video as well.